I have a new theory that I've been pondering the past few weeks that I really wanted to share with you all and see what you all thought. So feel free to chime in in the comments below. But I'm not sure what sparked it. If it was me kind of messing with my art and looking at these worlds and pondering the shape of the universe, which I constantly kind of do, or if it was my real estate tr like training and the stuff that I've been doing in that world that got me to think of it. But it combines them both. And I don't know if I would have come up with this theory had I been a dog groomer or something else at this present moment. But uh, everything came into line and then I think, believe it was in the shower, which is one of my hot spots. When I try to really find like breakthrough in an artwork or really think about something and, and find an answer to it, I go to the woods, I take a shower, I do a couple other random things that kind of help trigger my creativity and my thoughts. So this was a shower thought. There's definitely something magic about running water and breaking creative boundaries because it, that method has been helping me for years and I recommend it to everyone. Rivers, anything. Just go near water if you need to break through. So this theory that I'm proposing, and there's millions of theories, I love living in potential. I don't like sticking to one until I know what the truth actually is. So until then, I'm going to believe in thousands of possibilities. So what if this world that we were on, be it whatever shape it is, I believe it's a giant sphere, like the Janes, three, six billion miles wide, six billion miles high, who knows, flat, but whatever its shape, what if what we have now, what we know of as the Earth, pretty much this world right here, this is covered in animals, but you can see the map, and what if this world was property owned by the people who control us. So thinking back, zooming out, stepping back from everything we know about reality. What if the greater, you know, what if trying to kind of piece that thought together and looking at the ramifications of it. So say at some point during the reset, maybe this whole place is huge, massive, like in this map illustrates Tartary Earth, one of my artworks, huge. So many different lands, each one of these a continent, the size of Africa, Asia, etc. But just islands to someone who knows the overall massiveness of this world. Each one of these could be sold to people, closed off from the good. You can have your military do it. If you were extremely rich in a world where <laughs> these things, like in the past, we thought these gems, these golds, all these valuables are all over the place. They know everything. There's unlimited value. You probably don't even have value because everything is just obtainable and free in the universe. But you can experiment. You can own a certain part. Maybe an entrepreneur of that whole world runs this part, purchased this land that we know as something hundreds of years ago, thousands of years ago, and started their own property, their own world. And that's what we see. They control the information. They can occasionally, people can occasionally dig and find out knowledge of the ancient past like we're all doing, but that was just previous owners, maybe 10 previous owners ago. Those gods and stories that we hear, maybe they were just previous owners of this realm at particular times. They owned it. And then when they were done, they trash it, whatever, flush it, reset it, flood it, boom. Who wants to buy it next? Put it up for sale. Then that method kind of leaches into how they buy continents, how they buy countries. Over hundreds, over thousands of years, people get disseminated, people spread, culture spreads, culture grows. When the lease is up, reset. What if that was true? They could control the knowledge, they could control everything. There would be an elite that would keep all the secrets hidden and promote a reality to the people that just continued to reproduce. That is what you would see in a situation like that. And these people, jet setters, these private people with their islands, they control the map. They control who goes beyond what. Otherwise, they use military force. They keep everyone quiet. They know how to do it. It's pro. They are pros at it. They've been doing it for so long. They leak technology. They probably know the technology, and then they gradually take it through time. But they are way more advanced. Who knows? It's just a theory, again. But it seems kind of interesting. The lease theory of Earth. The rental theory of Earth. The property. Earth, the property, and I wonder how much and what the other places look like. I hope we get to see them someday. I really want to travel to them. I want to know the truth. I've had enough of being just a little whatever. It's time we multiply and become everything. We the people are the best. Bless you all.